excessive gratitude. God has been good, he's been faithful, and I'm really happy to report I'm an attorney. I passed the bar, I made it, and you can too. <laughs>
We always taught her to honor authority, uh, honor, which starts in the home, your parents, honor your teachers, honor um, uh, you know, law enforcement and things like that, honor the Constitution, and uh, any environment that you walk in, there's always a code of conduct to that environment, and uh, she's always made the adjustments, always been positive to reject the negativity, and, uh, and so we certainly uh, give God the credit and thank God for the grace and the mercy that's upon her life. I think if I can give any of you listening any advice, it would be to not quit and to not give up and to not try. I think oftentimes there's a misconception about failing or there's a misconception about, you know, I may not be good at this right away, but if you never try, if you never take the first step, you'll never know what you can achieve. And that's something I strive to live by is if someone tells me that I can't do something, well, I'm going to show you what I can do. But don't allow your circumstances, don't allow childhood trauma, don't allow experiences that you went through to prevent you from achieving the goals because the only one who can stop you is you. There is nothing your family can say, there is nothing your friends can say, there is nothing even the world could say to stop you except yourself. So do not allow lies of the world, lies of negativity, lies of the enemy to stop you. And, you know, I'm blessed to have had a father and to help encourage me when I felt like I couldn't do it to push me and to encourage me that I can. My mother as well pushed me to encourage me that I can. So just try, try. Don't make excuses. If you don't like it, like my dad says, shoot for the stars. But if you hit the moon, that's all right. If you hit the moon and it wasn't quite where you're supposed to get, you're still in the sky. So you can still keep going to reach the stars. Well, it's phenomenal. Certainly, we give God all the praise and all the glory. You know, the Bible says, train up a child in the way they should go, and when they're old, they will not depart from it. So we've always tried to teach honor. I believe the seat to access is honor. There's uh, honor, authority, honor the Constitution, honor God, and uh, then you just let everything fall in place. What do you think, Precious One? I just want to say I, this has been such an exciting occasion. I'm so excited for my daughter. Um, I'm excited for her class. She has gone through a lot to get to this destination. You know, I can remember from when she was a little child until now, she always had the vision of being an attorney. It was an exciting time. So we are just excited for Evangelique, for the Schumeyer family in general. I couldn't be a prouder mom at this moment in my life. With all of my kids, I'm just so excited. I love you. And one other thing is, you know, uh, John Mac Mac Maxwell wrote a book about failing forward. And one thing about it, we all have challenges, we all have difficulties, but it's not where you start in life, it's where you finish. And I decree and declare upon any young person that if Christ is the object of your faith, what happens in your mind will happen in time. What happens in your spirit will be manifested. But you gotta stay around positive energy, and I believe in the law of association. You are what you eat, you are who you hang with. And remember, never quit, never give up, never throw in the towel. You can be successful. You will succeed. And I'm so happy about that. 2024 is the year of open doors and we're walking in it. And God sees you in the future and you look so much better than he sees you right now. Your best days are ahead. Your best weeks are ahead. Your best years are ahead in the name of Yahshua HaMashiach. Ha Peace and blessing. God bless you. We're so we're so excited and thrilled and we would just want to challenge you uh, to whatever you do in the community, be your best. Uh, excellence honors God and inspires others. You are destined for greatness. I know you've had some challenges, but you know what? God will turn your hurdles into hurdles. I mean, your, your hurts into hurdles, your pain into gain, your tragedies into triumph. And listen, if you put him first, there's nothing that you can't accomplish on planet Earth. Amen. I agree with that. And I was just going to say, continue to keep your eyes on Jesus. Stay focused on everything that God has given you to do what God has for you. It is for you. And can nobody take that from you in and Jesus' name. And treat people. I don't care who they are, what their background is, what their religious belief is. If you treat people right, it's, some people call it karma. We call it the, uh, the sowing, uh, the law of sowing and reaping. You treat people right, things, good things will come back your way in the name of Yahshua HaMashiach. Amen. I Peace and blessings. Amen.